I'm Mr Upton and we're here at Sutherland Public School and I'm here to let you know that I'm very excited to be your teacher for the Opportunity class next year in 2021. This presentation today aims to provide you with information about the OC program and some of the underlying challenges that students and parents may face so that you can make an informed decision about the appropriateness of the Sutherland Opportunity class for your child and family. I'm thrilled to be given the opportunity to be the 2021-2022 OC class teacher and I'm looking forward to facilitating, nurturing and challenging the students throughout their two-year journey. I would like to start by giving you some background information about Sutherland Public School and Opportunity Classes. Sutherland Public School or SPS was established in 1887. We currently have 12 classes from K to 6 with over 300 students enrolled. In 1931, it was recognised that students with superior ability were entitled to some special consideration to enable them to progress at a rate corresponding to their natural ability. Hence, the commencement of opportunity classes in New South Wales. Students were selected using a combination of psychological and scholastic tests. The OC program was so successful that by 1936, 39 OC classes were operating across nine schools. Today, there are 76 schools offering opportunity class placements to students in year five and six, with approximately 1,800 student placements in year five. These opportunity classes help students to learn by grouping them with students of similar, similar ability, using specialized teaching methods and educational materials at the appropriate level. At Sutherland Public School, we are fortunate enough to have wonderful school grounds and facilities, including the use of Minerva school fields for large sports games and including their tennis courts. We also have new play equipment and are constantly upgrading the school. At SPS, we believe that every child is, in, is entitled to an education that caters to their individual needs. This is just as important for gifted and talented students. An OC class caters to individual students by bringing together like-minded students while providing a variety of engaging educational experiences that inspire and motivate them to achieve. How are the needs and differences of gifted and talented children catered for at Sutherland Public School? At Sutherland Public School, we use research-based program based on educational theorists such as Renzulli, De Bono, Blooms, Gardner, Gagne, and Hattie. The OC program is a two-year program built upon these theories and these modern teaching practices. Gifted and talented students' needs are catered for through three different areas, curriculum compacting, enrichment, and quality differentiation. Curriculum compacting involves removing content already mastered and moving through content at a faster pace. For example, in year five, students begin on stage three curriculum due to many students coming from different schools where there may be some gaps. And then in year six, students move on to stage four content, looking at year seven and eight content. Enrichment is provided through open-ended activities, which are designed to escalate the thinking process to the highest possible abilities. And quality differentiation relates to modifying the curriculum by making adjustments to content processes, products, or the learning environment for each individual student. Much of the work included in the program aims to promote critical and creative thinking. It is the promotion of these higher order thinking skills through open-ended processing and real world problem solving that sets the OC program apart from the mainstream. Students in the OC program will be expected to interpret, explain, organize, categorize, compose, design, predict, and invent they will make judgments and form opinions. They will test and conclude. In short, they will seek to become better and more effective learners. One thing we find is the students are challenged and stimulated by a company of like minds in the OC program. COVID-19 has impacted on many of the opportunities we historically provide at Southern Public School. However, Many of these programs we are looking forward to returning in 2021, depending on Department of Education guidelines. Some examples of programs that the OC students are involved in are Passion Project and Night on the Notables, Maths and Science Fairs, Poetry and Writing Competitions, 
Australian Maths Competitions and Math Olympiads, Premier's Reading and Sporting Challenges, Lego Robotics, ICAS Competitions, Debating, Bibra's Computational Competitions, Create South, Festival of Instrumental Music, Sports Programs including Swimming, Athletics, PLSA and Sydney East Opportunities, School Captains and Prefects, Peer Support Leadership Training, Performing Arts Nights and Drama Productions, Hunger Brains Activities and Excursions and Camps. Excursions are a major part of the OC program. All excursions are directly related to the curriculum and enable the students to make connections between the classroom and the outside world. This allows for deeper learning and greater opportunities to connect the real world to the classroom. An example of this is where in the past, OC students have gone to Sculptures by the Sea at Bondi. Students were able to have the experience to see something new and investigate the natural landforms, topography and environment of the area relating to the subject area of geography. Students were also able to see how sculptures and artworks could be integrated within a natural environment, which related to creative arts. From this excursion, students were then able to utilize the information and experiences they had and incorporate them into their own sculpture back at school. At Sutherland Public School, we have embraced the Bring Your Own Device initiative as part of the OC program. There are many benefits to this. For example, it prepares students for their future where the use of devices is almost unavoidable. It makes collaboration much easier among students. Engagement is increased as students enjoy using technology and students can use their preferred learning method. Also, learning goes beyond just the classroom. Students are able to access notes, lessons, content and videos at home or around the school. We do have specific requirements that we ask to be met when purchasing your child's device. In particular, a laptop. It is recommended that the student have their own BYD device so they can become familiar with it, build their capacity of responsibility, use it at home and personalise it for their own needs. We are of course very mindful of equity amongst all students and will provide a laptop for use during school hours to any student who is unable to supply their own. When purchasing a laptop, there is no requirement to buy an expensive laptop. Some suggestions for a laptop or requirements for a laptop include a laptop that has a long battery life, has a Windows operating system and can be lightweight. Further BYOD information can be found on the New South Wales Department of Education website. One of the biggest challenges for your child when joining a new school can be moving from friends and fears about making new friends. All students who enter the OC program have this concern and very often make new friends quickly. Students by the end of term one feel at ease and happy in an environment that challenges them and surrounds them with like-minded peers. Often they feel a sense of belonging and engagement in schooling due to being part of the OC class. Another challenge of the OC program is that 30 students can at all be ranked first. Due to the selection process of the OC program, all the students in the class are gifted or talented in one or more domains. Some children find it difficult to accept that they are no longer at the top of the class or grade. For example, a student may have received an academic medal of excellence in their previous school. However, within the OC program, it may not be that they continue with that level of recognition. Please be aware that some students may feel like they are no longer the big fish in a small pond, but are now the small fish in a much bigger pond. This change from being at the top of a cohort to entering class where your child may not be at the top anymore can be a new experience. However, with the right support network and engagement and focus in learning, this can be an opportunity to improve. Please consider this concept while when, app when applying. The OC program is not just creative tasks and student-directed learning. Its primary goal is content and curriculum attainment to a high degree in mastery. We expect the, the student to master the content in the curriculum before we use that knowledge for creative tasks. Please also take this into consideration. Communication is therefore vital. Regular and effective communication between home and school is very important. The OC program provides families and parents with a constant goal to improve and achieve for their child. This is most effective when community and school are in regular communication. 
I personally welcome questions and always find time to communicate with parents about their child's learning and needs. Please know that Southern Public School is a community that is focused on fostering a love of learning and cultivating academic and personal growth with a ho the whole family. Another possible challenge for your child could be a change in travel arrangements. Southern Public School is lucky to be a public transport hub, which means students can use buses and trains to make their way to and from school. This can, however, be a new experience and be a bit nerve wracking for many students. We try and support this change by budding your child with a year six OC, OC student who is also traveling to the same area. This can be reassuring to students who are not used to public transport yet. Another challenge is some people believe that acceptance into an OC class will almost certainly guarantee acceptance into a selective high school. This is not always the case. It takes a great deal of focus, dedication, effort to gain a place in a selective high school. The OC program has a capacity for the teacher to do some selective high school exam preparation with the students, but is not the purpose of our teaching program. The OC program is a two year enrichment program that fosters a love of learning. The choice to use external education facilities in the pursuit of a selective high school place remains with you and your family. Although the OC program is, high, is a highly stimulating environment, it is not for everyone. According to Renzilli's three ring model of giftedness, gifted students must not only possess above average intelligence and creativity, they must also possess a high level of task commitment. They must be motivated learners. Success in the OC classroom is largely dependent upon your child's attitude. Although it may take time to settle in the class, two years together make the OC class a very close-knit group. Many lasting friendships are formed and continue through high school. Whilst the parent is responsible, the child needs to accept the, expe the expectations and commitments of an OC program. I would like to leave you with one final thought. Is this the right place for your family and child. Please consider if you feel your child would thrive in this type of environment. The OC program can be an amazing opportunity for students who need to be challenged and are eager to take responsibility in their own learning so that they can achieve their best. I look forward to seeing you in 2021 and thank you for your time.